Recently, the 10th anniversary of the Dota 2 public release occurred. At that time, Dota had ups and downs. Some time ago, Dota fans had a feeling that the game is coming to an end. Now, we see a hard but bright future for our beloved game. Today, we will tell you five reasons why Defense of the Ancients 2 is better than League of Legends. Let's go. Monetization. Although both League of Legends and Dota are free-to-play games, the monetization in Riot's project looks very strange from a Dota player's perspective. In Dota, all heroes are available from the beginning, while in League, you have access to a limited pool of champions. Want to play on Talon? Welcome to the store. Yes, it's not difficult to farm points to buy champions, but the fact that such a popular game has an obvious paywall is frustrating. Additionally, you cannot change servers for free. In Dota, if you're in Ukraine, you can search for matches on North American or Chinese servers, but in League, you are account is region locked. If you are forced to move to another region due to the Russian-Ukrainian war, Riot will make you buy a transfer in the store. Furthermore, in League, you can't even change your nickname for free. You'll also have to pay for that in the store. Skins Skins in Dota have been around for a long time. In the past, we had a lot of fancy and truly cool skins like the Dragon Claw Hook or the Odachi, but they came at a significant cost. These items could drop after a regular match in matchmaking. If you didn't like your skin, you could easily sell it on the market or trade it on sites like Dota 2 Lounge. However, since 2016, Valve actively killed trading in Dota. They initially prohibited Lounge from using Steam accounts for commercial purposes and gradually removed the ability to sell or trade items dropped in the game. If you're interested in learning more about the demise of trading in Dota, write about it in the comments. Currently, in Dota, almost all all skins that you didn't buy on the market or in the store can only be gifted. Only new items from the battle pass or new treasures can be sold on the market or traded. And even then, not immediately. For example, items from the battle pass can only be listed for sale a year after. And what about League? In League, there is another concept of cosmetics. For example, for a Blitzcrank, an equivalent of Pudge, there are 14 cosmetics, five of which have customization options. In Dota, on the other hand, Pudge alone has 23 sets. And in addition, there are Personas, Arcanas, and just cool individual cosmetics. Plus, the customization in Dota is much better. If you don't like the hook in a hypothetical set by Dendi, you can always buy an Immortal or DC hook, which will make your Pudge more brutal and cool. Gameplay in September 2022, the Redditor, Sar Potato, surveyed League players who had played Dota and Dota players who had played League. Most interesting from this work for us are people's opinions about the advantages of Dota gameplay over League. 1. The laning in League is very structured. You rarely see variations in the lanes during the matches. Everyone plays with one top, one mid, two bot, and one jungle. If you try to suggest an alternative, you will be reported and called a griefer. Two. The heroes in Dota are much more varied than in League. Moreover, if a flex hero emerges in League, Riot actively nerfs it. In Dota, on the other hand, there are always Metaflex heroes appearing in each patch. The last examples of this are Wind Ranger and Void Spirit, who used to mainly go mid but became popular carry heroes. Like in League, they are also actively nerfed in small patches, but players always find new strong heroes. Also, Dota has many heroes who have been played in all roles. Mirana, Tiny, Magnus, and others. Three. The comeback system in Dota is more refined than in League. League players liked that the ability to come back in the game is not related to gold for killing a hero on a killing spree or destroying a building when you're behind. Instead, League players find it interesting how game-changing items can alter the course of battles, and they also like the mechanic of Smoke of Deceit. Comebacks depend on proper positioning and good play, not just gold from kills. Custom Games Dota was originally a custom map for Warcraft 3, and later became a standalone game called Dota 2. Now it has become a platform for other custom games that have gained incredible popularity. You can find classic maps from Warcraft 3 like Pudge Wars and Angel Arena, as well as original ones created for Dota 2, such as Overthrow and Dota 1x6. There are even some that have popularized new genres like Dota Auto Chess, which became incredibly popular and introduced auto battlers to a wide audience. Fans expected Valve to support the developers, but the company did things its way by creating its own Dota Underlords, which quickly lost its player base. The Dota Auto Chess developers, along with the Chinese publisher, released a separate game that remained the king of auto battlers for a long time until Teamfight Tactics appeared. 
What about League of Legends? There are no custom games in the traditional sense, like in Dota. Yes, there are community-made maps and modes in the game, but Riot doesn't approve them quickly. Remember, Riot's love for control. While League of Legends has various modes besides regular ranked games, Dota offers plenty of modes as well. And before we continue, we'd like to remind you that you can support our channel financially. You can do this via Patreon or PayPal. All the details can be found in the description below this video. Esports if we were making this video in 2018 or 2019, it would undoubtedly highlight Dota's advantage over League of Legends, even acknowledged by League players themselves. During that time, Dota's esports scene was much more developed than League. We had numerous majors with millions of dollars in the prize pool, and miners with hundreds of thousands of dollars. We had an exciting amount of non-DPC Tier 1 tournaments, and international with prize pools reaching 25 to $34 million. However, after the COVID-19 pandemic, Valve decided to to change the Dota Pro Circuit system, drawing inspiration from league structure. They created regional leagues where teams earned points and competed for slots in majors. The majors were awarded additional points, providing a direct path to the international based on DPC rankings. This made Dota even more focused on TI qualification. The majors now had prize pools of $500,000 and became another pathway to TI. While the TI-10 had a record-breaking $40 million prize pool, Valve struggled to gather $18 million for the TI-11 due to Dota's stagnation and Valve's lack of attention. Unexpectedly, salvation came from an influential figure within the Dota community, Crown Prince Muhammad bin Salman Al Saud of Saudi Arabia. He, along with several state investment funds, actively invested in esports, particularly Dota. In early 2022, the savvy gaming group acquired ESL, one of the largest tournament operators in Dota, and CSGO. The Saudis initially organized a test championship called Riyadh Masters in 2022. It became the first Tier 1 tournament in Dota, with a prize pool of over $1 million, excluding the international. In the same year, they announced their ambitious tournament ecosystem, culminating in the Riyadh Masters 2023 with a prize pool of $15 million. We hope this championship will deliver impressive numbers, and the Saudis will continue to support the idea, as Dota now has a formidable competitor to TI, thanks to the Saudis. What's happening in League of Legends during this time? Their system has been well established for years, and consistently delivers high viewership numbers, especially during Worlds. However, due to Riot's control-oriented approach, they do not allow other tournament operators to have Tier 1 tournaments, forcing top teams to participate exclusively in their ecosystem. That's all for now. If we missed anything, please let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Good game, Republic citizens.